everybody, welcome to a new video. Today I am going to finally show you a little bit of closer look into my pencil case. This must be the thing that I get the most questions about. Where it is from, what it's called, where they can buy it. Um, so yeah, I thought it finally time to show you around and show you everything that I have inside here because it's a lot. Well, first let's start off with where it is from. It is the, called the Delphonics Utility Pouch and it is the size M. They have an even larger size, you guys. Can you even imagine? It is so huge. Um, and I love it a lot. You can buy it from Delphonics directly, I think, to like Amazon. But I personally, in Holland, we don't have Amazon, so I brought it through Etsy, which was fine as well. I will put the price here in the uh, on the screen because I don't know it, but I know it was quite expensive. But for me, it was definitely worth it. I've been saving for it because I really, really love it. And yeah, it basically fits all the journaling supplies that I use on a daily basis, which is a lot. Um, I probably shouldn't have to have that many stuff, but I do. And I love to bring it with me everywhere and I take this like to work, to the office and on holiday like now in the summer and it's just perfect for that. So let's start here at the front before we open it up and show you what it's looking like. Well first off it has a lot of pockets. It has these front pockets that come forward a bit so it has a lot of room and then there are these two bigger pockets in the back. And on the front here, it has the label with uh, saying utility pouch for carrying tools. It is cotton, the size M, it has 15 pockets and uh, the size that it is and then Delphonics where it's from. And I put some pins on there. I've been uh, trying to get more pins. So when I see some that I like, I buy them, but I don't have that many yet. I have here, this one is from Sarah Faber and it's so cute. I love it a lot. And then this is a scout spin because I'm a scout and I thought it would be nice to have that on here. And this is also just a, a bear, which I thought was really pretty as well. So that is all the decorations that I have. And then here on the left, I have this little rope here that um, just looks pretty. I think I love the colors. And then here I have this embellishment on the other side and then I don't have any decorations further so let's see what is here in the front I have these bigger pockets I keep all my um, smaller um, yeah, smaller paper that I use in my journal so it are all these small papers that I keep in a, in a little clear box which are from the Western boxes are these called. I will also um, show them down below, put the details there as well. And I have them in bigger sizes, but these guys fit perfectly in these front pockets. And I just have it filled with so much die cuts and like stamps and these little stickers are in here as well. And I just, yeah, I just go through these when I'm journaling and then I will find something that I like. So that's our, my smaller paper we are in here in the front. So then we're going to move to the right to all our pencils, um, my, all my pens, which are also a few. First off, as you will notice straight away, are the mild liners. Um, I don't use mild liners that much, but they look so pretty on here. So I have to keep them in my pouch. So I have my favorite colors of mild liners in here in the front. Then I have two fine liners in 0 0.3 and 0 0.05. And um, this one I use for all my uh, doodles. So the small one I use for the doodles and the big one I use for when I want the thicker line. And then there are two gel pens in white for some white accents and in gold. So yeah. And then here in the front is first a normal black pen that uh, people can borrow. So I always have a pen in my um, in my pencil case, when people come up to me and ask me, well, do you have a pen that I can borrow? They can take this one because it's just a cheap paper made pen. And then I have my Pilot G2 in 0.5, which I use for all my writing. 
in here I have my Tombo. Um, it is the Tombo Fudunusuke in uh, black and grey, but I actually only use the black side mostly. Um, and I use that for all my brush lettering, for my small black brush lettering. And here is just an eraser from Tombo as well, I think. And then a Lamy Vista fountain pen, which I used to use a lot in my Leuchtturm, but I don't like it that much um, in my current journal, which is a moleskin. So I'm not using it that much at the moment, but I still love the way it's so pretty, the way it looks, and that you can just, it's clear so you can see the way it works in there. I think that's so cool. So that is the front. Oh wait, I forgot a pocket. There's so much, so many pockets, you will lose everything. I have my white out here from Pritz. And let's see what else is in there. I have my um, glue roller. How do you call that? Adhesive, adhesive roller. Um, this one is from a Dutch store called The Action. Um, but I actually prefer to use the one from Tombow, but I've run out of uh, inserts for that. So I have to buy some. And I prefer that one, but it's a lot more expensive. So for now, I use that one. So let's turn it around and see what is on the other side. So um, in here we have the bigger pocket with the Velcro to keep it keep it shut. And in there I have my Tombow pens. So these are pretty long and they will be sticking out. So I keep them in here in the back and I basically always use this one. But you guys always ask me about the color, but it's wrapped off. So I'm not sure which color it is. Uh, I don't know. So I can't tell you. I'm so sorry. But yeah, these are the colors that I use most. And I put them in here in the back when I'm on the road. And then I close it and then they won't fall out. Then here on the right are my uh, washi tapes watches. So... I basically, I took my own card and I yeah, put these all around it. So these are all my favorite washies that I use, I use all the time in my journal. And they are all from, yeah, all over the place, AliExpress, Dutch stores. Um, I got them from friends. I've got so many. But these are the ones that I have most and I keep them in here in the back so that they don't take up too much space. Then here in the bigger pockets are my more bigger um, like pictures that I use. And then I've got a collection of these like journaling cards. I don't know. Um, these are nice to like use as a background. Like look at this for my spreads. They are like the perfect size so I don't have to cut them up. I can take them with me easily and then I just cut them as I use them. So those are in here, a bunch of papery. And then in here are yeah, more like the pictures that I use. So those are more like background and patterns and colors that I like. And in here are just, just pictures that I can use in my journal as well. So just, yeah, if you know my style, you know that I use these. A lot, so that's why they are here. Now it's finally time to open you up. So let's go and uh, see what is inside. So the great thing about this, it holds my journal, you guys. My journal fits in here, um, which might be a little bit harder if you use the Moleskin A5, it might just fit. Um, if you haven't, don't have that much stuff in there, but I have this totally cramped. So my uh, moleskin fits in there perfectly. It's a moleskin in the size large that I just um, glued some, I just glued some cute fabric around it to uh, keep it cute. So let's see what else is inside. I hope you can see it's a little bit dark, um, but here are all my favorite colors of the Crayola Super Tips. And the Crayola tips are really long, normally. Let me see if I have one here. So they normally are very long, but the tip is like totally useless, the top part of it. And they were sticking out and just making it hard for me to close it. So I just chopped off the top. with like a little uh, X-Acto knife, which was very easy. So that's a tip for me. So if you want them to be smaller, just tip off, yeah, take off the top and you can just 
sand them a little bit down so that it's nice and smooth. And then here in the right, I have all my pencils. I have my normal pencils, which I have a whole bunch of. I don't know why I have so many. I have like four of these. And then I have my color pencils, which are the um, Faber-Castell Polychromos. And I also mainly use the blue ones because I like blue. My cats are making lots of noises, so I'm sorry if you can, can hear that. And then here in the left are just a pair of scissors. And um, I've got this little um, yeah, this paintbrush with water in it. Because I also have a paint palette here. But first, let me show you the last thing, which is my eraser. Which I, uh, it's a normal big eraser, but it's, it works great. And I think that in the bottom here, there is an eraser as well. So, two erasers because I always lose my eraser. And then on this side, I have my little watercolors, which are so cute, but I don't use them enough. But I definitely should. Look at that, how cute is this? I found this uh, little thing at the thrift store and I just have a little sponge here so I can suck up some water if I need to. And yeah, I can mix here. I just have all my favorite colors in here. It's enough that I can mix almost every color that I like. And on the front here is this sticker also from Sarah Faber. I really like her work. Her stickers are perfect size for this and I think the blue matches really well with the, with the blue from this one. So yeah, that is everything that's in here and that's almost everything that I use in my journal. The only thing that I don't have in here are my sticker sheets. I also like to use stickers and they are mainly on sticker sheets. The smaller stickers I have in these guys, the bigger ones I have, I have in here, which is like a bigger box of the Delphonics boxes. Um, but I don't take them with me. I used to have them here in the back, which is still a possibility that I can just take these out, throw them here with my, um, with my journal I can close this up. The zipper is so smooth, especially because everything's so cramped. I'm just so satisfied with how this zipper works. And then I could just take some of my favorite stickers and put them in here, which I used to do, but they, um, yeah, it just moves a lot and the stickers don't get that pretty. Mainly when I just go to uh, somewhere that I want to journal a little bit, I either take this whole box with me, because it isn't that thick as well, I can just scooch it in my bag. Um, or I just take out the sticker sheets that I like and uh, put them in here as well. And that is, um, that is everything that I use mostly. And then all the other supplies that I have is just switch out from what I have in here. Just so like more papery, more pens, more washi tape. Yeah, that's it. So, um, I hope that you like this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I will end this with some more lovely shots of my, uh, of my pouch. And if you want one, uh, I think it's definitely worth it. I take it with me everywhere and it's just on my, on my desk and it's just such so nice to look at. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.